Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mel, and welcome back to Mel Got Game, where I bring you top plays, top sports news, and breakdowns of the previous week. So, if that interests you, please like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, it's about that time of the week again. It's Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons are in town, and that means it's time for another Atlanta Falcons vlog video. Today we're gonna be going to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and we're gonna be seeing the Atlanta Falcons, who are four and four, take on the four and three Los Angeles Chargers. Now the Falcons are coming in off a thrilling win over the Carolina Panthers, which I really think is gonna be game of the year. I mean, I really don't think anything can top that game. I was on my toes the entire game. It was truly nerve wracking. And with that win, the Atlanta Falcons sit at four and four and alone atop the nfc south now the los angeles chargers got a little bit of extra rest this past week because they're coming in off a of bye week and they're sitting at number two in the afc west the last game they played they lost 37 to 23 against the seattle seahawks so we're gonna see today if that bye week either hurt them or is gonna give them a little advantage coming into this game now in my atlanta falcons prediction video from some months ago i did say the los angeles chargers were gonna win this game and obviously, I'm still rooting for the Falcons. Obviously, that's never, ever going to change. But I'm going to tell you right now, I do feel like we're coming into this game with some extra momentum. We're riding high off an amazing win from last week. We're number one in the NFC South, and we got our running back, number one, Cordell Patterson back. And I feel like this game is really just going to fall on the defense as we don't have A.J. Terrell again for another week. But I feel like as long as we hold the Chargers under at least 21 points, and Marcus Mariota plays exactly how he did last week, I feel like we can win this game. But guys, that is enough of me talking. I'm hoping we witness a really, really good game today without a heart attack from the Atlanta Falcons, however. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get up out of here, and I'll see you at the stadium. All right, you know I gotta do my game day fit check, so I got my Julio jersey, the new one, the new jersey. Yes, sir, ski, you see it. You see it on the back, you see it. Even though Julio ain't with us no more, still gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but then we got some jeans on, you know, I don't really wear jeans like that to the Falcons game, but I thought, I thought I was going to change it up a little bit. And then I got, you know, my little Jordan 11s right here. You feel me? So, all right. And, uh, let's go. Then we are at the game with my lovely girlfriend right here. <laughs> Come on. 
That's okay. It's okay, right? It's okay. It's okay. What do you think about the game so far? Um, I think it's a football game. Every game is a football game. Focus. <laughs> it's a good game. She's rooting for the Falcons. She doesn't like them. She never root for the Falcons. I don't have a problem with the Falcons. I don't watch the football. No, that last game got her on our side, didn't it? She was really into that last, the, the Carolina game. <laughs> She's a Braves fan and a Hawks fan, though. Yeah, because I watch those sports. Sour Pack. Sour Pack. No! Ew! You just chose Twitch over Sour Pack. No! Break, go break. Ah. No!
Well guys, I am back from the Falcons game, and as you can see, we did take another L. And I know in my prediction video, I did say we were going to lose to the Chargers, and honestly going into the game, I still felt the same way. But to lose the way we did was just the part that was the most heartbreaking. I mean, the score was so close throughout the entire game. We started out real strong at the beginning of the game, and then we allowed them to come back, and it was just back and forth from that point on. And then on the very last drive, when Austin Eckler fumbled the ball, and Taquan Graham picked it up, and he's running, and then he just drops the ball when he doesn't even get touched. I mean, the entire crowd was literally just sitting there and disbelief. It's like we went from, oh my God, we're about to lose another game, to yo, we actually might have a shot to win this thing, to oh well, never mind, got our hopes up for nothing, we're still gonna lose all in the exact same play. And earlier in the game, Youngway Koo missed a field goal, which was the difference between us losing the game or going into overtime. But one thing I noticed throughout the entire game was that our defense just really couldn't get off the field. Every time the Chargers had the ball, they were marching each and every drive, and it just seemed like it went on forever. And that really drained the Falcons' momentum. But guys, that was our fifth loss of the season, and we're now four and five. But honestly, this is exactly how I predicted that we would be at the midpoint in the season. I said that the first part of the season would be kind of back and forth and we will be trying to figure out exactly what we need to do to win these games and i still feel like the second part of the season we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna win a lot more games to make a push to win that nfc south and obviously as a falcons fan i'm not overjoyed right now with how we've been playing but i can say that i am pleased with some of our improvements from a year ago to now and i feel like we've definitely silenced a lot of the doubters at this point in the season because i mean it was experts literally saying that we were only gonna win two games this season but like i said we are currently four and five and i think we really gonna go crazy in the second half and the Buccaneers did win their game against the Rams so now we are tied with them for first place and now our next game is Thursday night football against the Carolina Panthers and I definitely think we're gonna win that game I predicted us to sweep the Panthers and I still stand on that but this next game against the Carolina Panthers is definitely a must win and we got a short week so we got to be on it but yeah guys I hope you have enjoyed this vlog video you guys really do seem to enjoy them so with every Falcons game that I go to I'm gonna make sure to vlog it for y'all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. It's your boy Mel, and I'm going to see you next time on Mel Got Game. I'm out. Peace. Y'all ever had Auntie Anne's? Bro. Best pretzels in the world. With this little hot sauce of dip. Ooh, boy. Oh, it's a little, a little sticky. Getting on my hands a little bit. Mmm. Auntie baby. <laughs> Get you one. What are you talking about, Steve? This is what I'm talking about, bro.